Hey, what's up guys? So I got my Western Digital Elements hard drive. So this is a USB hard drive. I'm gonna be shucking this thing, which means I'm gonna be taking out the hard drive from within inside this enclosure. So the tools that you need are, you need some sort of pry bar. If you don't care about the case, you could use metal or something like that, but I'm gonna to try to do this safely without damaging the case. So I got a non-mine kind. Uh, you may or may not need a credit card or a gift card that you don't need. And you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up. So starting with the pry bar. So essentially there are two clips here and there are two clips here. So one here, one here, one here, and one here. So we're gonna try to put this in and take it out. So that's clip number one that's gone. And that's clip number two. Now just to save the space, I'm gonna put my credit card in here, or gift card I should say. And I don't care about damaging the gift card. And just pop that in there. And yeah. So that's pretty much it. And you could slide it out. In fact, I'll just slide it out with this, the initial part. So that part went in. There it is. Okay, so it just slides out. So don't need that. So this is the hard drive, so it's a 10 terabyte. And it's just put in here with rubber pieces. So what I'm gonna do is, first we're gonna take out this, basically this is the, this is the light. And now I don't re recommend touching this part with your fingers or anything like that. So try to avoid touching this area. And you're just pretty much gonna kinda push gently and it's gonna kind of come out from here uh, this is the power switch USB and the power cable goes here so I don't need this so I'm going to hook it up straight to the SATA and provide its own power so I'm just going to unscrew this part. Take that out. Okay. Now we're going to gently take this part out. So kind of nudge it like that and there it is. Okay so plugging it into the computer it didn't recognize it and that's because this is a newer drive and if that's the case this is the SATA power connector and this is the power connector what we want to do is we want to block out the third pin from the SATA side so one two three so we want to block out this pin so what this pin does is it enables power saving mode so it enables turning off the hard drive so when we connect it to the computer it's actually not powering it on so what you need to do is get heat tape and this is static free and it doesn't leave any residue you could get this on Amazon this was like six bucks for a two pack even though you need one little tiny piece of this and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece of tape and we're gonna tape this part and then we're gonna connect the power connector and that should allow us to see the hard drive Okay, so you could see that I put some heat tape on this and now when I connect it to the power connector, the SATA power connector, 
it should boot up fine. So we're going to try this out. Okay, so I'm just going to temporarily connect this. I'm going to mount it in a little bit, but just for the demo, I want to show you guys that this third pin is taped right here. You could see that. So I'm just going to connect my SATA wire. Obviously, make sure the computer's off when you're doing this. And then I'm just going to connect my power cable right over. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this like this temporarily. Okay, folks, so you can see it showed up here just fine. Everything works. It's good to go. Actually, the bottom three were all pulled out from my elements drives. I have one more to go, and I'm going to make a NAS system out of that as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button below, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.